Hey, what's up guys? Nick White here. I do tech coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. You can check, uh, check the description for everything you need to know. I play this with all the hacker and lead code solutions on my channel, so check those out. Um, interviews are coming up here, so uh, I'm getting a little bit stressed because I have to do 60 more problems by the end of the day, but it's all good because we got this. Uh, this is Java into strings, so you're given an integer n, you have to convert an int to into a string. So there's built-in methods to do this, and literally all you have to use is a built-in method. I don't know why this problem is like the eighth problem or whatever it is compared to all the other problems, which some of them were actually harder, I thought. But uh, please complete the partially completed code in the editor. If your code is successful, it converts n to a string, then the code will print good job, otherwise wrong answer. n can be between negative 100 and 100, so we get 100, and then we get good job. Okay, so it's between negative 100 and 100. This is the starter code takes in an integer and then we just have to do it gives us literally the declarations with your string s equals uh, you can use integer class dot two string or you can use string class dot value of so those are the two that I know um, so that's pretty much it I mean you just use a built-in method and then it runs and I'm pretty sure that's what you had to do um, so I mean just I guess the takeaway is just know that the string and integer classes can be used to convert ints to string and stuff like that. Um, you can actually use like string.value of, if you have an array of characters or something like that, then you can do string.value of, um, so it's not just for converting integers to string, but it's like they're useful classes to uh, convert uh, variables to strings. So um, that's it, and then I'm doing the next one, so thanks for watching, check out the next one, and see ya.